A very good morning to you and welcome to Prime Media Studios. Welcome to the newspaper review for the 1st of December 2023. Um, happy new month um, and good morning depends on where you're watching from. My name is Moses and it's good to see you today. How, how are you all doing? Okay, we have um, our newspaper review for the 1st of December 2023. We'll go on a quick break and we'll come back. We'll begin the show. Don't go away. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back once again to the Newspaper Review for the 1st of December 2023. My name is Moses once again, and this is Prime Media TV. Um, today we have four headlines disturbing on the internet. Four headlines. We'll be taking them one after the other, of which our guests will be preparing to join us very soon. First of all, it says on corrupt practices. Panel okays 11 last month offices for sack, demotion, and also um, reduction in rank. Last month, panel okays 11 last month officers for sack and demotion and others. We'll go into details. Operators of the Lagos State Traffic Management Authority last month have arranged 12 officers before the disciplinary panel for various offenses bordering on corrupt practices and absenteeism in line with the extant rules um, as guided by the Lagos State Civil Service Rules and Regulations. The Acting General Manager of LASMA, Mr. Olalekon Bakari Oki, disclosed that, that the disciplinary panel, which was statutorily constituted with three permanent secretaries in attendance on Thursday, adjudicated cases of corrupt practices levied against these 12 officers forwarded their recommendations to the State Civil Service Commission for ratification in line with the public service rules. However, the panel recommended various punishments ranging from dismissal, um, reduction in rank, and sack from the state public civil service. The acting general manager, who was equally part of the disciplinary committee, panel confirmed that while 11 others were found guilty of corrupt practices levied against them, only one officer was exonerated with the report of the panel. Bakari Oki, who read, who read, who read a riot act to all com, com, comptrollers, commanders, and zebras of the agency, maintained that stiff and severe punishment would continue to be meted and corrupt officers and men in his efforts to weed the agency of few bad elements, tarnishing its image. We thereby call on residents, especially the motoring public, to support the agency in the ongoing restructuring by promptly reporting any errant officers via any of the agency's complaints hotlines, thereby putting up four toll-free number on the screen with proof of evidence. He therefore warned all officers of the agency to always carry out their duties without fear or favor in accordance with the stipulated laws guiding the authority as any operative court in the process of bringing the agency or the government into disrupt, disrepute rather, shall equally face the consequence. Let's go for a quick break. We'll be right back after this break. Don't go away. We'll go for a quick break after this. We'll go for a quick break and we'll begin after this. Welcome back to the show once again. And sorry for that break in transmission. Okay, we'll continue right now. On Vanguard, they said, motorists lament as truckers block Oshodi, a Papa Expressway. Truck owners and security agencies to clear gridlock next week, says Amato. Lagos, despite the inauguration of the Lagos State Trucks and Cargo Operation by Governor Babajinde Sanwo Lu, 
to tackle traffic gridlock. Sorry. To tackle traffic gridlock and restore sanity to the reports, access roads, and upper part environs. Truck drivers yesterday blocked their my two Osho the expressway, cursing on toad hardship to motorists and commuters. Though the expressway had witnessed a brief re respite trucks and tankers yesterday, shut the road between second rainbow inbound to my toe. The development left motorists stranded in traffic for several hours. The gridlock on Apapa Osho the Express stretched from Sele bus stop, second rainbow toward my two to Tink and Ports, Lagos. The security agents and Lagos State Traffic Management Authority last month the team were overwhelmed as they watched helplessly as truckers packed indiscriminately along the expressway. One of the stranded motorists who simply identified himself as Mr. Ojo lampooned Lagos State government and officials for their lax, lackluster approach to ending the gridlock permanently on the axis. Ojo said, I just got to the office after spending two hours from Fat Bend filling station to the office, which is supposed to be to take just 10 minutes. This is pathetic, and we are having a sitting governor. Efforts to speak with the special advisor to the governor on transportation, Shola Giwa, proved abortive as he was yet to respond to text messages sent to his mobile phone at the time filing this report. We'll go to the next one, which says helicopter crash in Port Harcourt. Nigerian Air Force helicopter crash in Port Harcourt. A Nigerian Air Force helicopter crashed in Port Harcourt, the River State Capital, in on Friday morning. NAF spokesman Edward Gabwet confirmed the development in a statement. He said all those on board survived, though they sustained minor injuries. The helicopter with the number NAF MI35P crashed at exactly 7:45 a.m. shortly after it took off. For an operation against economic saboteurs in River State. Fortunately, the entire crew of five survived the crash with very minor injuries and are currently being attended to at NAF Medical Center, Port Harcourt. The Chief of the Air, Air Staff, Air Marshal Hassan Abubakar, is currently en route to Port Harcourt to assess the situation for himself, see to the well being of the crew, and give further directives. The statement partly read. The spate of NAF Nigerian Air Force helicopters crashing living casualties has been a source of worry to aviation and safety sparks in the last two years, with stakeholders calling on the military to uphold standard operating procedures and routine maintenance of its fleet. In August 2023, NAF MI-171 helicopter on a casualty evacuation commission crashed near Chukuba village in Niger State, leaving casualties behind. In 2021, at least 20 military officers lost their lives within three months in three crashes involving Nigerian Air Force jets. The Chief of Army Staff, Left Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atahiru, and 10 others were on board a NAF Beechcraft 350 aircraft that crashed on May 21st, 2021, near the Kaduna International Airport. All the 11 military personnel died in the tragic accident. The last but not the least says new wage begins April. Federal government votes 24 trillion naira for salaries. New wage begins in April. Federal government votes 24 trillion naira for salaries. The federal government on Thursday said the new minimum wage regime would come into effect in April 1st. 2024. The Minister of, of Information and National Orientation, Idris Mohammed, who disclosed this in an interview with The Punch in Abuja, said the current 30,000 naira minimum wage would expire at the end of March 2024. Mohammed said this on Thursday as an analyst, analyst, anal, analysis of the 2024 to 2026 fiscal framework budget by our correspondent indicated that the federal government would spend 24.66 trillion naira on salaries in 2024, 2025, and 2026. Following the removal of the full subsidy by President Bola Tinubu on May 29, 2023, 
the federal government agreed to pay 35,000 naira to each of its workers to cushion the effect of the subsidy removal. But the organized labor insisted that 35,000 wage award was a temporary measure, adding that the minimum wage should be reviewed in 2024. The federal government's team and the Joint National Public Service Negotiating Council on October 18th, 2020, 2019, rather, agreed on the implementation of the 30,000 naira minimum wage after months of negotiations. However, labor joins, labor unions on Thursday confirmed that they had started a negotiation process with the federal government, adding that based on the country's labor law, the minimum wage should be reviewed every five years. The Nigeria Labor Congress National President Joe Ajero recently said it, it is open to knowledge that the review of the national minimum wage is a matter of the law which is expected to happen in 2024. And that's the news paper review for the 1st of December 2023. Join us in the next hour for more content. And meanwhile, we have a platform where you could shop. A platform where you could shop and online and you could be at the comfort of your house and, you know, shop at the comfort of your own zone. We have gadgets, we have bags, we have home appliances. We have different, different items on Remy app, remy.com.ng for those in Nigeria and also those overseas, remy.com. You could order and you could also register as a buyer and a seller. Just log on to your app remy.com.ng or remy.com on google play store remy app and on apple app store remy app also and this is the much we can bring to you subsequent subsequent um, um content will be brought to you as we go join us in the next hour for more my name is moses and thanks for staying with us have a nice day